and uh, this is just a short uh, uh, a presentation and uh, uh, for the battery testing uh, performance uh, we need to know about the what the variation of the lithium battery first so there, there are a lot of uh, battery lithium the first one is a coin cell uh, shape there are the cylinder the cylinder cell also the prismatic and also the post cell so uh, there are uh, different materials uh, in uh, for example this uh, the 18650 battery uh, this is a lithium ion can be it can be nmc or uh, nca something else and then uh, this is the same dimensions but uh, inside of it it, it is a uh, lithium ferrophosphate or we can say lfp and this is the prismatic uh, lithium ferrophosphate uh, this is the uh, uh, that we use in the energy storage systems uh, because uh, it has a larger uh, capacity until 100 uh, amps hour and this is uh, for the compact size for uh, like the mobile phone or uh, uh, devices uh, we're using the post cell it can be lithium ion or lithium ferrophosphate and then uh, uh, we we need to know uh, too about the uh, the characteristic of the uh, each battery. So uh, we divide into the two variations: lithium ion and lithium ferrophosphate. Lithium ion uh, can be O, NCA, or NCM. It has the characteristic of uh, it, it, it has the nom nominal voltage of 3.7 volts. The discharge is to 2.8 volts, and the charge cut off voltage is 4.2 volts the higher uh, energy uh, compared to the other materials like uh, lithium ferrophosphate uh, the nominal voltage is 3.2 volts but uh, the upper voltage is just uh, 3.65 and the discharge discharge cut voltage is 2.5 volts uh, this is the characteristic of the voltage and the uh, current we need to know to form the battery testing uh, uh, parameters so uh, in the market especially in Indonesia um, we also uh, uh, seeing there is a fake batteries uh, uh, normally the batteries is is uh, it has a capacity below uh, the stand the the real one so uh, how to uh, how to differ the uh, fake batteries versus the real batteries so uh, the first one is we can see from the uh, wrapping uh, color uh, the real one is uh, more dark than the organic one also there's a uh, the barcode the num the serial number of the production or we can say the production number it has a unique number uh, so uh, usually the fake uh, the fake batteries it has a same number uh, in the serial in the production uh, code and then uh, we can uh, we can uh, uh, see there's a top case this is the top case uh, shape uh, it represents the uh, the of the uh the like lg is a hexagonal shape the circle one is samsung the panasonic is uh, like a more triangle uh, and then uh, there's also uh, the button button top uh, model uh, so uh, for from the visual uh, uh, we can see that uh, there's a lot of scratch if we see like this uh, we can conclude that this is the fake batteries or it uh, it uh, we can say it uh, is battery and then uh, the real one it has a, a, a good uh, barcode than the fake one the fake one has a, a, is a, like a, not real uh, 
also the voltage uh, the real one uh, like i said before in, in the previous slide uh, we can test the voltage of the battery and the nominal voltage like 3.7 uh, just using the uh, usual uh, multimeter uh, this is for uh, the fake batteries and then uh, uh, what happen if we use the fake batteries uh, it can cause failure in lithium ion in the our device that using lithium battery such as the freaking swelling or the it can explode uh, it can cause a fire uh, it is very dangerous for us uh, because uh, it is the safety uh, uh, hazard uh, it can cause it can harm for the user so uh, in Ember I uh, we have a battery performance testing uh, basically we are using the battery analyzer uh, with specification of 5 volts and 6 amps uh, for testing the cell not bad uh, can uh, measure the coin cylinder pots and prismatic and then uh, we uh, we read the data with the software in the laptops and uh and recently uh in nbri we already have the the bigger battery analyzer the 60 volt uh, 100 amps uh, capacity so it can uh, measure the uh, performance of the battery pack Okay, so uh, in the battery performance testing, uh, the first one is uh, we need to know what uh, what is the seat. Uh, it is to use to uh, uh, we we need to uh, know the seat rate to enter the parameters for performance testing, and the seat rate is the measure of the rate at which a battery is discharged or dis or charged relative to maximum capacity so uh, let's say the battery have the capacity of 2500 milliamps it means uh, the 1c of the battery is 2500 milliamps or we can say 2.5 amps so this is the uh, 1c uh, capacity if we uh, uh, give the load with the current the same as the capacity so it will be the battery will be depleted within one hour so basically we, we say the 1c of discharging but there are a lot of uh, parameters for testing there are uh, 0.1c 0.2c until the 10c the 10c means is 10 uh, 10 times the capacity of the the battery and uh, here in Ember I, uh, we uh, uh, we do the, the the battery testing for the commercial batteries. So there are a lot of uh, commercial batteries that, uh, 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 like in the online store, uh, we can uh, there are a lot of fake or real uh, batteries. So uh, we need to test first, uh, uh, so we can know. Uh, uh, is it real or fake? Uh, like here, uh, we test the three brand of the commercial uh, batteries, uh, usually for the electric cigarette or the uh, uh, laptop battery. There are uh, Sony 3.7 volts, 2,600 milliamps, and then LG 3.6 volts, 3,000 milliamps, and Samsung 3.6 volts, 2,500 milliamps. All, all the testings uh, we do in the NBRI I uh, are follow the UL standard, the UL1642 standard for the cell testing. And then, uh, what parameter we enter the we enter to the uh, battery analyzer? So basically, uh, uh, we do the two methods of the discharge and the charging method the first one is discharge we use the constant uh, if we test the cell 
the cell, the cylinder cell, uh, we chart, we discharge it with the uh, three volts and 500 milliamps. Also, we can say this is a 0.2 C. And then after uh, it or it already discharged, and we do the charging with the constant current, constant voltage uh, method with uh, 4.2 volts and the current is uh, 1250 milliamps or 0.5 C. It depends on the uh, capacity of the battery we want to test. And also the cycle, uh, we do the 50 cycles, but uh, the higher the cycles, uh, the better uh, the result we have. So this is the result, uh, like the charge discharge curve, we can see the real capacity versus the voltage. Uh, like here, uh, this is the battery. It says in the written label, it says the 2000 X 600 milliamps. Uh, after we test, do the 50 cycles, uh, it's just uh, about 2500. Yeah, it's not bad, but uh, compared to the other, like LG, it says 3000 milliamps, but a 50 cycles below the so uh it's not it's not good and then the samsung 25r 2500 milliamps uh, after the 50 cycles it stay at the 2500 so if we if you are the consumer uh, uh we we will choose the uh, the best one is the samsung uh, uh, because the capacity is uh, not drop uh, so much after the 50 cycles. Yep, uh, maybe that's all uh, for me. Uh, just a short uh, presentation for me. Is there any question from the participants? Mr. Radio, I see Mr. Benny already raised hand. Could you please like to okay, ask him? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, okay Mr. Mr. Radio. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Rido, for your presentation. Uh, my presentation uh, concern about yep. uh, testing you. of performance of battery. So uh, my question is: uh, Do you uh, do you do you have a testing performance of this battery, electrical vehicle battery, on research, or uh, this product, this? Um, product from the market, the first. And the second, my question is, um, what do you what do you use of the standard for the testing performance electrical vehicle battery? Can you explanation for us? Thank you very much, Mr. Rido. Okay, Mr. Benny, I'm sorry for the first. So I'm sorry, your, your voice is not good. Yeah, uh, for the first uh, questions, I'm not here uh, clearly. Can you repeat? Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Rido. I want to repeat yeah. once again my question. First question is, uh, you talk about uh, testing performance of electrical vehicle. There is a testing of uh, research by research or this uh, testing of this electrical vehicle product from the market. And the second, uh, what is the standard do you use for the testing performance for electrical vehicle battery? Thank you, Mr. Rido. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Benny. Uh, uh, in here, uh, we're still not uh, doing research in the battery performance for the EV. It's just uh, for the cell or the low voltage battery pack like uh, solar state light. But the EV, uh, we still uh, uh, we still not testing yet because the equipment is uh, 
just uh, for the low voltage. For the EV, uh, we cannot do the measurement in here. Uh, so I have no experience for the uh, testing that battery EV. And then the second one, uh, if we, if you want to talk about the standard, uh, uh, we have a lot of standard in here. The for example, for example from UL, UL, and then the IEC, and then the ISO. Oh, sorry, the IEC and uh, UL, IEC, and ISO. Yes, and also the SNE. And for example, the UL is six, UL sixteen for sixteen forty two for the lithium cell, and then the uh, IEC 61960 for the prismatic and cylinder cell, uh, lithium secondary cells testing. And then for the safety itself, there are uh, IEC 62133 1 2017 for the sequence for portable secondary cells. Uh, and also uh, for the transportation, UN 38.3 for the transportation of the lithium ion battery uh, there are a lot of standards so i cannot read uh, one by one mr Vinny. <laughs> there are a lot of safe, uh, safety standards thank you okay you're welcome mr rido so uh, excuse me uh, i have um, a yeah. suggestion for your uh, explanation to us about standard uh, for your information yes. next year 2022 i have uh, one research also uh, the title is uh, life cycle Analyze it for uh, applied of the standard in the uh, EV industry in Indonesia. Could you help me, please? If you have uh, time, you can see us about um, the number of the UL standard and IC standard. Do you use in your uh, research or uh, in your applied in your industry and something like that? Could you help me, please? For the next year, I have uh, one uh, research also in the battery. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Benny, uh, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, we can help you to, uh, uh, to uh, help you to uh, standard uh, in the test, uh, life cycle test, life cycle analyze for the EV, right? Yes, right. Yeah, maybe uh, we can use the uh, UL2580 about the better electric vehicle, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and then for the safety, maybe uh, UL 9540A for the fire safety hazard propagating thermal runway. Maybe uh, these two standards can uh, can help us for uh, do the life cycle analysis in the EV, you know, in EV, EV battery. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Rido. Uh, yeah. Could you help me, please? Uh, if I need uh, your uh, phone number or contact person, could you help me, please? <laughs> <laughs> My phone number <laughs> is uh, I just contact the uh, secretary of the NBRI or uh, of Evi Kartini. Okay. Or, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rido. Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Benny. Is there any question for uh, other participants?